We hope you enjoy your connected navigator and that all your journeys will be pleasant and safe. But first, you have to go on a journey. It didn't work, so I didn't bring this on my journey last week. That's why I'm making this video. Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Yeah, I'm sitting at my dining room table and it's the first time I've ever done an unboxing, although I've never unboxed this before, this particular one, I have unboxed something, the first box of this box. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. So I just got home from the BMW dealership and I returned the old navigator. Oh, you got a nice little, oh, oh, love that sound and that feel. Nope, doesn't smell. Let me put this over here. And yep, I have the brand new communicator. It says BMW Motorrad right there. Huh. This, pardon me guys, this is the first time I've ever done an unboxing of any kind or any sort. So I have no idea if this camera is gonna work or if that camera is gonna work better, who knows. I'm a little upset with BMW because as most of you guys know, last week, I rode down to the Black Forest to Touratech headquarters with my GS and I sat down on Sunday night. So I'm leaving Monday morning for the Black Forest. Sunday night I sat down with the other connected ride navigator, with the other navigator. And I started, oh, I got to put in some addresses. I got to move some stuff over from my cell phone, what I'm filming with right there. And then it locked up on me. I'm leaving in less than 12 hours for the Black Forest and it locks up on me. Nothing. Just came up to the main screen. Nothing. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even shut it off. The only way it went off is when the battery died and then it went dead. So I was in a scramble. I was ticked off. Thank God for quad lock. They have the inductive charger and also the, this thingy and then the ball mount. I could just quickly mount this and then plug it in right there to the USB connection. And then I could still use that or this with my smartphone on here and then navigate via that down to Touratech headquarters on Monday morning. So thank you, Quadlock. Uh, they make great stuff. Stuff, not stuff like this. <laughs> Okay, so that's why I have this. Uh, this is stress relief with plenty of stress relief pellets so that, you know, you get the point. Okay, so now let's get into this. I just took that one layer off. Now let's take the other one off, the, the back plate off so that I can put in Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, they got a nice bag. Yeah, I knew this because I did this four months ago. Ah, this is what I want right here. The screwdriver. So this little screwdriver, and it's nice. They give you two USB-C to USB-C and then USB to USB-C. However you want to charge it. And the uh, getting started is... That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Screw, unscrew this and then put the SIM card in. And okay, yeah, I have my SIM card here. So let me do this, shall we? This is useless. And I don't know why they always include this. This is for idiots. If you read the warnings, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to say that. Uh, that's the disclaimers. Okay, now let's do this, shall we? Let's put this little tiny SIM card in this thing, and then I will turn it on. This is the first time doing this. There we go. And there we go. Take that off like that. 
rechargeable lithium polymer battery. So what I need to do is take this off. Got to scratch my head and rub my belly. There we go. Now the battery come, came out. Now the SIM card slot is right in there like that. So I take that out. And then I put this in here like this. Boy, you need tiny fingers for this. There, like that. And then you put it in here like this. There. Then you put the battery back in like this this. Oh, and by the way, when my one that is on its way back to BMW, um, I took the battery out and I actually unplugged it from there and waited and then put it back in. Same thing. I did it three times and uh, it's still locked up on the main screen. And so then I took the SIM card out. Same thing still locked up. This was all Sunday night. I, I was panicking. I'm leaving in less than 12 hours for a three day motorcycle trip using this navigation. Uh, and so what happened is, is I dropped this off last week, Thursday. Today is the 17th. So I don't know what date that was. And, uh, told them what the problem was and uh, the head mechanic there, thank you, Christian there. He said, I'll see what BMW says to do about this. Cause I had a charge and they're like, look, and he just looked at it and went, what is that? And I'm like, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> and he goes, hmm, okay. I'll have to sit down and give it to my tech and figure out what they're going to do with it. And then, see what BMW says to do about it. Uh, so then I talked to him this morning and he said that, uh, okay, BMW had a little checklist of things to do to my old unit that I brought to them last week, Thursday, and they did them and nothing. And then BMW said, okay, send it back to us. And I said, so then what's the reason? What did BMW say is the problem? And he goes, they wouldn't answer that question because he asked them. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Uh, I asked him, has this happened on other devices? The answer is no, this has not happened with any other ones. There was another one of these returned to that particular dealership, but it was because once it was mounted onto the uh, cradle on the bike, it wouldn't charge. And then you also wouldn't, it wouldn't take the BMW wheel. So that one was sent back. So this one dealership has already sent two of these connected ride navigator, two of these navigators, I'll just call them that instead of the nav six, six, just call it a nav seven. Although this supposedly is not made by Garmin. It's made by BMW and the maps in the previous one, because I haven't even turned this on yet. Uh, in the previous one, uh, they look like Tom Tom. They don't look like Garmin. So I think they're, they've switched to their own navigation. And I know they're in a partnership with TomTom, Tom, BMW is. But then I also know they're in a partnership with Garmin. So which one are you guys doing, BMW? Come on, tell me. So let me turn this on for the first time. Oh, and by the way, so last week, Monday or Sunday night, I was not a happy camper. I was panicking and thank God Quadlock was there to save my butt. And yeah. There, now I feel better. <laughs> uh, it froze on this screen here. It's just stayed there. Didn't do anything until the battery went dead. So now, ah, it saw the, uh, the uh, SIM card already. Oh, I'm already got four G's. See, four G. Uh-oh. 
right? Is that still good? I think so. It's at 4G, so that's good. And the battery's at half. So, let me see. Oh, don't I have to set this up? I think I have to set this up. Connectivity hub. Okay, so it looks like things are working. I will take this out in the next day or two onto my 13GS and see if this works uh, the way it's supposed to work. So the long story short, guys, is that uh, I'm a little upset. 695 euros for this bad boy yeah for something that broke 12 hours before i needed it and i couldn't use it so uh and the only answer i got from bmw is no answer send the unit back give me a new one that's not an answer that's uh, when you spend that kind of money, I mean, uh, look at the Garmin XT2, 407. And I've never had a problem with the Garmin. I have it in the cabinet right behind me that I always use on my RT. So I thought I would use this on a GS because it has the cradle that came with it. I thought it would be fine. I'd never mounted the XT. Now I should have mounted the Garmin XT onto the GS. Lesson learned, huh? Maybe I should do a video, Garmin XT versus this. Ooh, ideas for videos. All right, guys, uh, this is just a short video and uh, I'm frustrated, not only with this, but also with my 13GS. I'm gonna do this six month uh, owner review coming up here shortly, so and I will express some of those frustrations. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little short video. As always, guys, ride safe and ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care. Cheers. This is the second, this is the second time I'm opening this box. Wait, no, 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 I haven't opened this box yet. I, I've opened this, the other box once. Now I'm opening this box. Okay, so this is the first time I'm opening the second Navigator.